Uh, welcome back. This is going to be another short one. I guess it's part three of the tutorial series on how to build a game like Temple Run in Unity. Um, so there's a question um, in the comments for the uh, for part two, uh, and the question was how do I um, add uh, swipe control for mobile devices like iPads and iPhones and Samsung uh, devices and so on. Um, so first of all, to test uh, um, input for mobile devices, you need to add a, um, a device simulator. Uh, to do that, you first need to go to the uh, project settings, um, go to package manager, and then tick the box here, which says enable preview packages because the device simulator is a preview package. So you need to tick that box first, if it isn't ticked already. And then you go to window uh, package manager, and then search for device simulator. It's under the uh, Unity uh, registry packages. And then install that, uh, and again, you'll only see that here if you've ticked the box in the project settings that it just shows you. I've installed it already, so I won't do that again. And when you do, uh, you can then choose between uh, game uh, and simulator. Um, so choose simulator and then pick a device you'd like to test on. I don't know, like uh, an iPhone. I'll just show you now uh, with the code changes, which, uh, which I'll go through in a second. You can then um, swipe up to jump swipe down to roll and I'm going to swipe to the right now to turn right jump up roll I'm going to swipe left now right and so on okay so how do we do that um, okay so if you go into your code into the player movement uh, script um, what I did was I just added um, three 2D uh, vectors to represent the X and Y coordinates of the start and end touch points when you're swiping, as well as um, a 2D vector that represents the, the delta between uh, the start and the end. So you initially set those to uh, the zero vector. And then in the update uh, function, uh, I set the delta to zero each time you go through the update function um, i.e. reset it to zero. Uh, the rest of the code we had before. I don't need these get key down um, uh, lines actually so we can comment them out because we're going to use uh, swipes instead. Um, setting the um, these booleans to false at the start and then checking is there a touch if so, then if it was uh, the start of a touch, then um, you know you grab the position uh, and put it into the touch start vector. On the other hand, if um, the player has lifted his finger so it's uh, the end of the touch phase, then uh, you want to grab that position and put that into the variable called touch end. Uh, and then you can calculate the delta, between, which is the um, either the end minus the start or vice versa. Obviously, depending on how you do this, you'll get a plus or a minus. And then, uh, yeah, if it's um, if the player has uh, swiped to the right by a, f I don't know, a number of pixels, I, I put in a, a hard-coded number here, 50, then we say turn right. Uh, on the other hand, if it's going the other way, you turn left. Uh, similarly, for the y-axis, um, if, if the player has uh, swiped up, then you want to jump. And if it's swiped down, you want to uh, roll. And then the rest of the code is the same as what we had before. Uh, and that's it. So that's how you can add uh, um, swipes uh, and mobile device input to your to your game. Thanks. I hope you liked it. Bye.